Hey everybody, how are you? Uh, most of you know me, my name is Miss Knowlton, but most of you call me Miss K. And uh, last week I put out a video for your younger, your little people in your lives talking about some internet safety. And I had a little bit of feedback from some of your teachers wanting me to do something along the lines of internet safety and online safety for the bigger people. So I am not here to crush your hopes and your dreams. I am not your real mom, but I can still boss you a little bit. I mean, I'm Miss K. That's who I am, right? So, but what I want to talk about today is social media and how social media can be a positive, but I also want to remind you of some of the dangers that I've already come into your classrooms and talked to you about because the truth of the matter is that from now until most likely the end of the school year, you guys are going to be doing most of your learning online which means that you're gonna to have to be in different social media platforms. Um, you might be using things like Zoom, Google Classroom, uh, different type of chat rooms for you to actually do your schoolwork learning. So because I know the statistics show that teenagers spend eight hours a day on your phone, uh, we've talked about it before. Now you don't have eight hours a day where you're actually in the classroom, so you're probably on your phone more. So Let's look at how social media can be a good thing, but let's also look at how we need to make sure that we're protecting ourselves while we're at home, being on our phones and our devices more. All right, so let's start with my favorite app. Everybody loves a little Snapchat, right? Of course we do. Snapchat has the best filters around. Uh, Ms. Nelson looks amazing in some Snapchat filters. I'll assure you of that. But Snapchat, remember, having your location on in Snapchat chat can be quite dangerous because it is a way for a predator to make contact with you and because of the snapchat platform it can be quite a considered a secret platform but remember everything can always be brought back to life there is always uh, a picture even though it fades away in 10 seconds uh, doesn't mean that it is gone from um, the internet forever Okay, that can still be, that can still come back to haunt you if it's a picture that you're not particularly proud of. Um, Snapchat is used a lot of times for young adults to uh, take nudes. We've talked about that. Remember, if you are under 18 and you have a nude picture of you or someone else, you are in possession of pornography. And then if you send that picture out, then you have distributed pornography. And that was probably never your intention when you decided, hey, I think I'm going to take a nude and send it to my boyfriend or to my girlfriend. So be very cautious with how you use Snapchat. I have harped on it and harped on it. Do not add people that you don't know. The, the world is full of people that don't want what's best for you. They only want to prey on you. And as scary as that may sound, unfortunately, that is our reality. So be very careful with who you add on Snapchat. I am aware that there's a new app out called Hoop for Snapchat. And it is, con it is considered the new um, Tinder for teenagers in Snapchat. Please, I caution you to be careful with that. Because just because somebody says that they are 16 or 17, that does not mean that they are who they say they are. That could be some dirty old man that is interested in nude photos of young girls or young boys for absolutely perverse reasons. So be cautious with who you add on Snap. Do not add uh, apps like Hoof. Meet people face to face, know them first before you add them on social media. Now, now that we've talked about some of the things that we need to be cautious about SNAP, I want to talk about some ways that we can use SNAP for good in our lives. SNAP is actually pretty, doing some pretty cool things. So Snapchat has power for social good, and that's what I'm all about. I want to make sure that we as a generation start learning how to use our devices, our technology for good, instead of having to worry about so much evil in the world. It is up to us. It is up to us to use social media to put out good 
and to change the statistics about social media. So Snapchat is always in conjunction with different uh, marketers. And uh, this on October, they actually launched a partnership with to raise critical awarenesses of issues in America. And so they started an anti-cyberbullying prevention campaign called I Am A Witness. And because of filters like these, cyberbullying was, was being made known. So use Snapchat for good. Use Snapchat to be a joy in people's lives. Spread awareness for things that you care about over Snapchat. Okay, that is one way to use uh, Snapchat for the good. You know, Snapchat can also be used for the good to take amazing selfies. Check these out. Which one do you like best? I don't know. I kind of think I look amazing without teeth. What do you think? Maybe. Anyway, so uh, because Snapchat has some of these cool features like uh, filters that you can have fun with, they are really a way that you can spread joy and kindness into people's lives just with the click of a button by taking a fun selfie. Um, I can tell you I have laughed more and more over different Snapchats that I've gotten of people just being silly. And that truly is a way that we can send joy to each other in this time of quarantine when we can't be together. You can even send a joke of the day in Snapchat. Um, you could create your own filter if you're the techie type. That would be awesome. I noticed in Canva that is an option. Maybe if you have, a, uh, if you have something that you are really involved with and that you care about, maybe you could, could start an awareness uh, filter for Snapchat. An idea. Let's figure out how we can use Snap to share kindness instead of letting in people that we don't know in our lives and making sure that Snap is a safe place for you to use for fun and not a place for predators to prey upon you. TikTok. So TikTok is um, definitely something that Miss Kay is learning about. When I was researching it today, I probably spent way too much time looking at silly TikTok videos because truthfully, there are a lot of TikTok videos out there that are just absolutely silly and totally fun. I will say that there are some challenges out there via TikTok that I don't think necessarily bring kindness to the world. I would encourage you to stay away from those. Another gender of TikTok that I'm finding is that because TikTok has the capability to do, to do a split screen, that predators are actually getting on there, uploading children's videos from TikTok and then doing a perverted split screen next to them. That is something to be cautious about. Be mindful of your settings in TikTok because it can be an open gateway for a predator to be able to reach out to you um, and you not even be aware of it. And because that predator isn't actually having physical contact, only virtual contact with children, they're not being arrested, but they're still doing things that are inappropriate to children via TikTok. So please, 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 again, this goes with, social, with all social media, know who you friend on TikTok, know who you follow and set your parameters so that you can be safe when you're using TikTok because I agree, TikTok is pretty, pretty fun. So uh, I, when I was doing my research on TikTok, I noticed that TikTok is also doing some pretty great things in the world. Uh-oh, I'm going back. There we go. TikTok actually has on their website an entire, um, entire section called TikTok for good. And when you go in there, you can find simple ideas how to use TikTok for good. And they say they want to inspire, encourage a new generation to have a positive impact on the planet. 
So, and then they give you a few ideas how you can help TikTok, help the world. And then they go through some previous campaigns. So the teacher geek in me loves EduTalk. I mean, how fun is that to make um, TikTok integrated into the educational scene? There's even Pet BFF where they use this hashtag and they raise money to help homeless animals. I love that. I love that. How could you not love that? Okay. For the climate, they've done things about the earth. Uh, Dance for Change talent, uh, chat, uh, Dance for Change challenge to help in rural parts of Africa. I mean, there's so many good ways that, yes, we can use TikTok for entertainment, but also TikTok is using its social media platform to actually do some good things. One more thing that I found on TikTok that I thought was awesome was um, a page where it talks about TikTok app activities to do in your home because we are in quarantine. Everything that you pull up online right now is something about COVID-19. So <coughs> TikTok is actually encouraging you to do activities in your home to help keep you sane to help keep you happy. Um, and then there's just different communities that you can reach into in TikTok for, for positivity, okay? So I will tell you, I think TikTok can be an awesome platform if you're going in looking for something positive. Just like any other social media, there is definitely negatives to it. You have to be safe with your settings. You have to know who you're accepting on TikTok and who you're following on TikTok to be safe. And you also have to know what you're searching to make sure that you're not searching anything that is uh, going to bring something up that might make you feel uncomfortable. Twitter. Now, Twitter is, I think I've probably told most of you before, I'm not a tweeter, but I'm going to try because so many of you really like Twitter. Uh, my oldest son, Slade, gets a majority of his news and information updates from Twitter. And I think that it is a, is a good platform because it gives you small chunks of information. So it's not so overwhelming. But it, the one thing that you need to be cautious with is Twitter is unfiltered. So anything and everything goes on Twitter. So be very careful with the dynamics and the parameters that you set up in your settings on Twitter. Be truthful about your age when you set up social media accounts because all of social media has built in um, settings for, for students and for young adults that are under 18. That only is to help protect you. So I did a little research on Twitter as well. Twitter also has a page where they talk about Twitter for good. And they have all kinds of different areas of focus. So you can actually download their Twitter for good impact. You can post hashtag Twitter for good, or you can even follow Twitter for good to give you more ideas of how you could use Twitter for good instead of um, what people might want to be using it for for bad. Twitter is another one of those sites that asks for your location. Please, please, please. Turn your locations off except for your parents. That is one of the biggest things you can do to protect yourself against online predators that want something not for your good. Turn those locations off. You know, and lastly, what I, and lastly, I want to talk about Instagram. Uh, Instagram's probably, next to Snapchat is probably one of my favorite social media platforms because I like to look at pictures. Who doesn't? You know, and there's so many different things that can be posted on um, Instagram that, like most other social media websites, you have to be cautious with who you follow and who follows you back. So let's see what Instagram is doing for good. So Instagram has a community for just about everyone. Um, they feel like it's their responsibility to foster a safe and supportive community community for everyone. Um, they have anti-bullying campaigns. 
They have safety campaigns. And they also have a guide for your parents if they're interested. <coughs> so the good thing about most social media accounts is they're aware that there are predators in our world. And they don't want that for their followers. They don't want that for their users. They, they really intended social media to be used for good, a way to connect people. You know, one of my favorite things about social media is getting to see the people that I love who live far away that I don't get to see every day. You know, I get to see my mom who lives in Santa Fe. I get to see uh, Chad's family who lives up north. I get to see lots of people on social media that I wouldn't normally get to see face to face every day. <coughs> social media can be used for so much good and that's what I wanna focus on. Now, I decided that um, it would be cool if you guys could reach out for, to me for social media because unfortunately, I may not get to see some of you again. Some of you are graduating. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm so sorry for your mama's been there. Um, some of you may be changing schools before I come back next year, but I miss you and I want to see you. So I have created two accounts, a Instagram account and a Twitter. I'm gonna try Twitter. These are my handles. Um, my Instagram account is at Miss K P C C, which stands for Miss Knowlton Panhandle Crisis Center. And then on Twitter, I'm probably not smart enough to figure out how to make a correct handle, but I put in Miss K and then it gave me all these funky numbers. So if you want to add me on Twitter, you can add me at at Miss K 8715134. And then what I hope you'll do is I hope that while we're in quarantine, I am challenging you to find the positives in your day and post them. Tag me in them and then use the hashtag no kind. I looked this hashtag up just to make sure. Only one other post has ever used it, but my last name is Knowlton. And um, so I thought, well, what can I do with that? Well, Miss Knowlton really wants you to be kind. It is truly what I think will change our world is if all of us try a little harder to be kinder to each other. So being kind is gonna look different for each of you. There may be something in your home that you want to do for your mom well, if she's having to work during the day. Maybe you want to uh, cook supper, clean the bathroom, take a picture, hashtag it, at me. I want to see it. Maybe you want to do something for a neighbor. Maybe their newspapers are stacking up on their lawn because at this time they don't want to get out and pick them up. Put them on their porch. Anything, little things right now. Maybe the way that you are keeping yourself sane is by having a FaceTime conversation with your best friend today. I did that today. I needed to see her face. I could have definitely taken a screenshot of that and uploaded it because I needed that. That was a piece of kindness in my day that I needed. And I want that for you guys too. And I want you to share it with me. I don't want us to be disconnected. And I truly, truly hope that you will add me and follow me and you will use this hashtag the rest of the year. Um, you can DM me through Instagram and through Twitter. We can talk back and forth through that way. These, I have set these up completely for my students because I still wanna be in your life. And, um, and I miss you and I hope that together, even though, to be quite blunt, this sucks. I want us to still be kind. Because all the things, all the things that I have talked to you up to this year, at this, up to this point, if somebody would have stepped in and started kindness, those things could have been X'd out. If our world could choose kindness over abuse, if our world could choose kindness over sexual assault, if our world could choose kindness over rape, if our world could choose kindness over 
child abuse. It's our world to choose kindness over neglect. Man, it would put me out of a job. I would love that. I would love that. So I think that between all the school districts that I see, and I see a lot, I think that we can start a trend. No kind. Let's no kind. So at me, at me up, DM me, tag me in pictures. I want to see you. I love you. I miss you guys. It is so weird talking to a computer screen instead of walking around the classroom and making jokes with you. Um, please reach out to me. I miss you and I'd love to hear from you. Talk to you soon.